Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Monkey Island 2, The Chuck's Revenge. Last time we met some wood chickens, and we uh, got our first ingredient for the voodoo doll. So, um, I think there's one more guy we should talk to here, this guy right here. And uh, we'll see what uh, he has to say. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Hey, you can see this little pipe that he has stuck in his ear, because he's obviously deaf. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I got a laundry type question. Shoo. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I got a laundry type question. Shoo. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, this guy. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate covered ants? <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I'm sorry, I find his responses funny. It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. That doesn't even but make I sense. can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. <laughs> I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. <laughs> Alright. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. That doesn't make sense. Whatever. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. So anyway, we have this laundry place here, so how can we use this to our advantage? Hmm. And a box. Nice. Let's see if we can open the box. Yes, we can, but it doesn't stay open. So we'll do something about that later. Anyway, there is something I want to do, but um, it's back at the swamp, so I'll just meet you there. Alright, here we are back at the swamp, and uh, I want to get some swamp water. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Yeah, we can't touch it with our hands, but remember the bucket we got after a very long conversation? Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Sweet. Awesome. So we got some mud. So um, I'll meet you back at Woodtick, and we'll see if we can put that bucket of mud to use. Alright, we're here back in Woodtick, and uh, there's one place we haven't really gone in yet. The ship right here. I'm guessing this is the little hotel, motel, whatever that uh, they that was mentioned before. And who's this guy? Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Yeah, he doesn't say much. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Alright, thank you, gosh. Mm -hmm. Who's in it? Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. <laughs> nice. Be with you in a second. Be with you in a second. Uh, I was hoping you'd get mad if you did it a couple times. But what is he doing there? 
I, I have no clue what he's doing there, honestly. He's like making food? Clean? Tearing pages out of a book? I don't know. But, um. That's not important. Let's see if we can't, uh. Hold it right there! That's a private room. No going up there. Shoot. Yeah, that's Logger's room, but uh, we can't get in there, even though it probably has stuff that we want. And what do we have here? Oh, isn't that cute? Hmm. I could lose a finger doing that. Well, one thing we can do. Mahahaha. <laughs> Hey, how old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Uh -huh. All right, so now we got rid of the hotel guy, and he's not coming back. And what's this? Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. Yes, we're going to steal from a dog dish, alligator dish, whatever. Let's get some. And uh. Now we can go into Largo's room. Let's close this door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Oh, really? Hmm. I wonder if we could? <laughs> Some of you haven't done that I to think us I hear Largo like... coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay! I can't get this thing off my head! When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you looked pretty fine. steamed. And, uh, we have here a toupee. But yeah, look at this room. This is, um, doesn't look like a very pleasant it place pretty to old. live. Messy, messy, messy. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. It's empty. It's a bit on the tattered side. Yeah, in the uh, original version of this game, you can actually pick between an easy mode and a hard mode. And uh, easy mode, everything's just pretty much set out for you. Like, uh, his clothes would be here too. You could just take them and... It's a lot easier, but uh, in the enhanced version, they just have it set on the hard mode, like, permanently. So, the puzzles are a lot more difficult, but it's also a lot more fun, because you get a lot more out of the game. So, let's grab this. May not be his real hair, but maybe it'll do. Nice! I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. <laughs> I've never seen that before, I just got curious. <laughs> Largo could be back any minute! I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. <laughs> oh, guy rush. Honest, now we have two ingredients. We need two more. Let's see, I'm betting Largo went over to that uh, laundry place. You're making me mad, Marty! <laughs> That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Yeah, whatever, bro. So he drops his laundry off. But uh, we need a claim ticket to get it back and get his clothes. Get uh, something of the thread, as Rudy Lady put it. So let's see if we can't go find that claim ticket now. And uh, chapter two, close the door. There it is. Nice. Now, what is this? A game of ribbon? Alright. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I'll shoot. Uh oh. 
Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room. Well, it <laughs> ain't. So get the f*** out of here. <laughs> Good stuff. Sweet. So we have the claim tickets. Let's go pick up some laundry. Let's see, here we go. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. <laughs> I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? <laughs> the peg leg in there. Ah, here it comes. And. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. We get Largo's bra. Nice April fresh scent. <gasps> oh, that is it's too much. It's too much. But uh, I love it. Oh my gosh. All right. So I want to catch this rat. Why? Because I can. So uh, we should have everything we need. We got a little cheese. So. Uh, I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. Alright, so what you gotta do... Open Nice! Alright, so I'm saying that. Alright. You stick the box there. It stays open. You string with stick. And then... She squigglies with box. And now we wait. Come on. Come on. I think that's it. Bam. Now, we get a trapped towering rat. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, we have a rat now. Ooh, and I got a message. Alright, let's... I have an idea what I can do with that rat. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, do something about getting this guy out of our way. Good thing this is a cold soup. Yeah, very good thing. Alright. Let's get out of here. So, there's a rat in the soup now. See the blood unfolding, people. Yeah, boy. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche? We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, I'm our new hipster. cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. <laughs> how's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! <laughs> what kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir! Ow! Get out of my sight! Oh, I'm sorry, bro. But, this is uh... the most disgusting, <laughs> filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! <laughs> and what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. <laughs> uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? Oh, oh man. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sweet. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. We got some money. Hmm. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we actually know how to cook. So um, let's just get out of here. 
The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. Well, let's go up this way. You'll never know. But of course, I'm just going to be an idiot and go down and see him. You're supposed to be cooking! The knives needed sharpening. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired! Shortest career ever. But we got our money anyways. And it's not like he has many customers to speak of, so uh, let's not worry about that. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot. Can I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. We told that guy we'd uh, polish his peg legs, so let's do that. Delay. Thanks. I'd give you a piece of eight, but uh, <laughs> I'm fresh out. Oh shoot. Yeah, if you actually uh, do this uh, before getting the job and getting the money, he'll have the money for you and give you a piece of eight. Infinitely, I think. I I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. So, anyways. Let's uh, head out and see we have something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body. What are we missing? Let's see what's down here. Fun fact, I learned the word peninsula from this game. First time I played, I'm like, pe-pen-it-pen-saluda, what? I was like, six. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. Yep. Twenty pieces of eight. This, Inquire within. This is where the infamous Captain Dredd resides. And we're going to see him the next time on Monkey Island 2, Dutch Up's Revenge, where we will also see if we can get something of the dead and finish that boot at all. Can we do it? And can we get off this island? Find out next time. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.